Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Arrange Your Own video. I'm Hannah and today we're going to do two arrangements for your home. The first is going to be a nice tall arrangement, which is going to be a garden theme with a lot of the fun varietals that we have and then a smaller vase to use just around your home as an extra. So to start, I'll tell you about what we have. We have purple tulips, Queen Anne's lace, which is a nice garden variety, pink calypso mocara, and we have some purple status, lavender roses, asphodisia, and some wonderful ivy. So to start, we're going to line our vase with asphodisia leaf. Just cut off the end of the stem. And then we'll curve the sleeve. We'll curve the sleeve right around the edge of our vase just to cover the top where all the stems cross. Then the status is a good varietal to use as a base for this arrangement. So we're just going to take the status apart and pull it into different laterals. And then I'm just going to push it around into a circle. That way we get a nice little base for all of our flowers to fall into. When you look down, they'll all be the same height and it'll just spiral around a little bit. Then we'll cut the stems to allow them to drink a little bit. And then you can just place your status down into the arrangement as so. Now next, I'm gonna do the next softest flower. That way we're adding from soft to hard and it'll keep the arrangement nice and full and lush. So we'll go on to the Queen Anne's lace or lace flower. And I'm going to place our stems around in a nice circle. So kind of one in each corner, so three corners. And then just pull up the status as you go too. So you'll see I have one Queen Anne's lace on each side. Next, we'll do some tulips. I'm just cutting off the ends and placing them inside. The tulips I have kind of fall forward, so I'm going to put them right around the edge so that they fall out evenly. And just one going around each side. And every once in a while, just pulling up the status. Now, I'm going to take our roses and fill in any gaps that you have. So the roses are going to open nice and large, and it's going to fill in those gaps that the lace flower and the status leave behind. So I'm just going around in a circle while pulling out anything that might have fallen down. Just evenly spaced. Since this is more gardeny, you don't really have to worry about grouping. It's just kind of how you feel the flowers look good together. Now, we're going to add some fun ivy. This kind of pulls together the whole garden feeling. So I'm going to start in, for me, the back of the arrangement and just place in one end that's cut so that the ivy can drink. And then I'm just going to weave it through so that you get a little bit of these nice trifoliate leaves throughout. 
and it kind of fills in until the roses bloom and gives it a nice full appearance. Now we're going to move on to our smaller arrangement. And this one, since it's not going to be as gardeny because I'm using a tropical flower, have the nice Mokara orchid. And then I'm just going to take this ivy stem and place it right at the base of our flower. And then we're going to twist the ivy around the base, just so it makes a little loop. And you can pull out the little leaves a little bit so that they're nice and full. Now we're gonna take a little bit of binding wire and tie the base of the two flowers together so that they keep the nice shape. Remove the water tube and cut both ends a little shorter so that it'll sit nice in a little vase for you. And then you'll have two nice arrangements to put around your home and keep it nice and gardeny. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next week. Thank you so much.